good day to everyone uh, or tears of uh, this institution enrolled in the subject uh, course audit two no? for this uh, semester and the school year. So basically, uh, if you will comply to all uh, requirements before graduation, then basically this will be uh, the last subject under my command that you will undergo and uh, uh, finish. So I hope that in this uh, uh, time you know, of your academic life, I hope that uh, the more that all of you are uh, more cautious and uh, 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 disciplined, you no. Know? From the time that we started and at this very moment, I always remind you uh, that the most important in your life as a student of criminology is for you to maintain your discipline at all times. The higher your level of academic achievement, that you're now 40 years students, the more that you must uh, be more disciplined. In other words, I would like to tell you the reality that everyone knows but refuses to accept that graduating is not uh, enough. No, graduating is not the end, but the start of reality. Graduating is a requirement. Graduating is also an expectation of your abilities, capabilities, discipline and intelligence. So try to see that in your own person at this very moment, if you have this, or ang meron sa inyo is feeling, uh, para kayong rebisco, na ang meron lang is feeling, pero pag tinignan mo, uh, manipis ang feeling. But remember this, never, uh, never lose your control and discipline. Because pag nangyari yan, I tell you, everything uh, will be useless. Because again, to remind you, the very reason of your existence, whatever type of situation, may pandemic man or wala, so long as you are a criminology student, the very reason of your existence in the institution is for you to prepare yourself that if the time comes, you are ready. You are ready to tap you are ready to pass the licensure examination for criminologists. Because that is the only time that you will say to yourself that I have one big achievement in my life. Because if at this very moment, feeling mo na is tap ka, feeling mo na is board passer ka na, then you are just a fool. You are just a foolish man. You are suffering from hallucination. You are suffering from illusion. 
you are suffering from delusion. So it's good that you have this kind of subject matter known as course audit so that this will be your last chance as far as your academic preparations are concerned because in this course audit whatever uh, lapses of the subject whatever lapses of you as a student whatever lapses of your instructors or whoever they are as far as criminology is concerned then this is the time in an official manner this is the official time or official opportunity for you to correct it so this course audit will give us all the opportunity to strengthen uh, to add and finalize our knowledge our criminological knowledge and the strategies so that after graduation then you can say with confidence and humility that you are prepared to top and pass the board exam because remember this in your time and case you will be the first to experience uh, you will be the pioneer uh, in the new curriculum of criminology so with that we do not know uh, the five w's and one edge of the board exam this 2022 if i'm not mistaken initially and partially the professional regulation commission have scheduled it on december 4 5 and 6 of 2022 no at dyan tayo magkakasubukan if you as a person no is really ready uh, for that challenge as a criminology graduate so ang parati kong sinasabi sa inyo maintain your discipline maintain your feet on the ground and guard your future do not allow yourself to unnecessary things no that may destroy or hamper or delay uh, the smooth and the whole process of what you have started as a criminology student the mga iba that have encountered problems and delays that's part because walang ibang gumawa dyan kundi ikaw ang nagsimula huwag kang manisi ng ibang tao but try to see yourself as a student and as a future graduate and as a future professional criminologist the most important thing in life is uh, your persistence your determination and your preparation as far as your course is concerned no so ulitin ko ah uh, wag maging mayabang ah uh, wag kampante wag manigurado at higit sa lahat uh, always put your feet on the ground until you become wait until you become but most of all in everything we do we put god first for us to be guided in all our decisions in all our actions and so forth and so on So with that, uh, going back to the subject matter, uh, I hope you take this subject matter uh, with all your intention and you study smart. This subject matter, I tell you, 
is not easy because the subject matter covers the whole of a main subject of criminology. In our case, uh, we will be tackling two main subjects of criminology. There are six main subjects of criminology no? that you have to prepare. Oh. No? Being a cum laude, being a magna cum laude, being a dean's lister, being a leader in the institution whatsoever. Uh, again, that is not an assurance that you will pass the board exam. The assurance is yourself. Yourself. No? How did you prepare? Eh, sabi ko kanina, hindi natin alam kung uh, paano at ano ang uh, pwedeng mangyari during the December 2022 board examination. Ang pwede na lang nating magawa as an assurance to all of you is our preparation. Let us all put and input everything that are significant uh, so that we will understand them, master them, familiarize, and be prepared. But hindi nyo magagawa ito lahat if you have no proper mindset, proper attitude. Attitude matters. If you know something, improve it. If you know something, share it. Anhin mo kung isa ka lang among the ten ang pabasa yung iba baksa. Share it. Because by sharing it, you will also learn. To teach is to learn. Uh -huh. Yeah. That is one of the most important things. No? Sharing of knowledge. Then another is try to gain more knowledge. No? Yeah. Okay? So uh, I hope in these uh, simple words that I mentioned uh it will uh, simply uh, or one way or the other uh awaken your uh, uh reality no i hope magmumuni muni kayo ano ba talaga ang nagawa ko sa buhay ko bilang isang criminology student so again this course is an opportunity for all of us uh, to strengthen, broaden, and finalize our preparation to these respective subject matters or main subjects that we will tackle. Okay, so uh, okay, so again, a reminder: this subject matter is the most difficult one, no? Because you have now to prove yourself that you are worthy. Uh, you are worthy uh, of uh, uh, graduating this course. Because if you will not pass this course audit, then uh, uh, for sure, kukulutin ka sa kangkungan. Huh? Another, before I end and present a little one, uh, always remember this. I always say this to all the people. No? And this is a common knowledge. In the board examination, you will never force the carabao to lay eggs. You will never force the carabao to lay eggs. So therefore, uh, you have to prepare, and this course audit will help you. Okay. So with that, uh, let me just present uh, a little and short uh, uh, orientation of the subject matter that you need to prepare. So after this presentation, I hope you are now you wake up 
uh, do something, improve yourself, your attitude, preparations while the sun is still shining. Okay, so with that, uh, ulitin ko itong venture natin uh, is to prepare you and top the board examination. Because remember this, kahit mayor or lawyer ang papa mo or daddy mo, you are not the lawyer. You make your own success because your success is the success of your parents and your failure is the failure of your parents. No? So kahit libre ang uh, higher education natin, uh, the more na ikaw ay mahiya. The more na ikaw ay mahiya. And therefore, you have to top the body itself. Okay? Oh. So with that, let us proceed. Okay, so welcome to course audit two, and welcome also for the challenges in the subject matter. So course audit two covers uh, two main subjects, which is CDI, uh, which is 20% in the board examination, 20% then forensics uh, or criminalistics. So there are two main subjects. So in the midterm, we will discuss uh, crime detection and investigation. Then uh, after that is on forensics or criminalistics for the finals, okay? So do not forget that. The next is the course description for you to have a further understanding and appreciation that the course course audit as a general matter, this course focuses on the comprehensive review of the various main subjects in the licensure examination for criminologists anchored to Republic Act number 11,131 and Ted Memorandum Order number 5 series of 2018 as a preparation for future licensure examination for criminologists. This course further includes the individualized audit and mastery of existing and additional inputs on this specific professional subjects or main subjects per se. Okay, so that, I hope that is clear. No? Then course requirements that you may encounter. First is of course the common one. It's either a quiz or quizzes, uh, Macboard and via Google Forms. Individual lecture. So uh, start making your own individual PPT. No, or PowerPoint starting to CDI, uh, uh, CDI, fundamentals, yeah, and you make a PowerPoint there uh, until the coverage of CDI and so forth and so on. Then compilation, uh, start now because at the end of the day, I will give the instruction and you will make it ring binded. So yung CDI, pwede nating hatiin yan into two groups para hindi masyadong makapal. Then uh, DOT or definition of terms, it should be handwritten because when you do it in handwritten, you will force yourself to familiarize these things, no? Or terms that are important in the different studies under the subjects. So do it in the record book, no? So get the uh, the uh, the most number of record book, 500 pages or more. Then recitation, you know, then others that will be given. Then uh, next to understand are the topics in CDI. This is a matter of review. This should be again a common knowledge, a basic knowledge that you should know. But for those who did and forget it, these are the topics under CDI as a subject First is fundamentals of criminal investigation with intelligence. I hope uh, at this very moment, meron kayong naalala about the subject uh, as to its content. SCI1 or Specialized Crime Investigation with Legal Medicine that, that discusses the forensic aspect of investigation. Then SCI2, no? it discusses uh, the... Uh, uh, 
uh, side of the investigation where information is uh, uh, properly collected as evidence. Then uh, number four is traffic management and accident investigation with driving. So I hope merong kayong naalala when it comes to this one. Okay, so again, uh, uh, this one, the topics in CDI, the fundamentals of criminal investigation with intelligence, the specialized crime investigation one with legal medicine, a uh, specialized crime investigation two with simulation, interrogation, and interview, then traffic management and accident investigation with driving, that will be the first group for CDI. So in your compilation, yan yung makakasama. Then uh, the second group, which includes technical English one, which is the investigative reports and presentation, then fire protection and arson investigation, vice and drug education and control. Number eight, technical English two, which is the legal forms. Then lastly, introduction to cybercrime and uh, environmental laws and protection. So that will be the second group for CDI, and in your compilation, that will be the second group. No? So, magiging dalawa yan. No? So, therefore, no? as far as CDI is concerned and forensics uh, in the finals, you start organizing and compiling your notes for CDI and forensics. You start your review, improve your knowledge and understanding on these main subjects of your course. And lastly, start now while the sun is still shining. No? I would like to say, no? I would like to say what uh, Rick Warren have said on what is love. No? So I know that most of you will say that you love criminology. You love to be successful, you love to pass the board exam or even top the board exam. No, but remember this. Uh, Rick Warren said uh, uh, on how to define love, the best way to define life, love. You know? What is all about? Rick Warren said that the best to express love is time and the best time is now okay that is a very simple one to understand so kung iladayan sa sarili niyo bilang students of criminology then time is very important and the best time is now kung nang hintayin na kayo ay uh, babagsak sa board examination do not wait the time that you are a failure before you will learn to give time. So give time while there is time. Give time while there is time. Okay? So with that, we call it today. Uh, see you. Next meeting. And be good always.